Yo, what's up guys? Coming at you with the top 10 video, top 10 letters of the alphabet. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot for the past few months or so, and I just thought I'd, I'd do a bit of a video on it. I've um, come to some pretty strong opinions about these letters, and I've um, I double-checked them with a few other people, and I've, it's sort of, you know, it is a bit split. You know, there are some controversial decisions there, but um, I think that this is a pretty good uh, top 10 letters of the alphabet list, so... Without further ado, let's get started into number 10, which is the letter... Mm -mm -mm. It is M. My God, man. Oh, it's marvelous, man. It's it's a miracle that it, it made it into the top 10, honestly. Like, um, a lot of people were... They wanted Y instead, but, um, I mean, you just got to go with M, really. I mean, well, like, what other choice was there, you know? I think number 10, M, it's a good spot. Really, um... A lot of people, they sort of think of um, W as a double U. I like to think of M as a, a double N. And um, I really think that um, it's, it's you know, it's got good use. It's a very strong letter. Um, not, not, not all that um, comedic or funny, but a very strong letter, good usage. You know, I like it. Um, so that's number 10, M. Um, going on to number 9, we have X, of course, X. Um, bit of an edgy letter, this one, we will be honest. Um... Not too many words starting with X, and that's why it is such a special letter in my eyes, and why it deserves a number nine spot. Um, it's just a very unique letter, you know. It's very edgy, you know. You got that sort of strike, uh, strike through pattern, xylophone, X-rays, you know. A anything that starts with X, you know, extreme, you know. You just S S X, you know. It's just very edgy, very cool letter, you know, near, near the sort of... It's like the guy that sits at, you know, the back of the uh, class, you know, and he's throwing paper at the teacher, you know. That's what I think of X, you know. Very cool, you know, character. That's why he gets the number nine spot. Um, coming in at number eight, we have the letter D. Where would we be without a good old D, huh? Am I right, guys? Um, D, um, on this digital display, D is absolutely delicious. I mean, oh... It's good, it's good. It's a good letter. There are some better ones, though. You know, it is at the number eight spot, so there are better letters in it. But um, it's definitely up there. It's sort of, it's definitely a very stable letter, a very strong letter. Um, and it also does have that sort of hint of um, comedic value about it as well, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that's D. Uh, not much, not too much else to really say about that. But coming in, um, this is going to be a bit controversial, but... Coming in at number 7 spot, we have C. Now, a lot of you guys, I know, you'll be screaming. C should be a lot higher, but it's hard to put it higher when you see these other letters that are that are made into the top spot. Like, C, it's a good letter. Don't get me wrong. I'd love for it to be higher, but when you see the competition that it's up against, man, it's just, it's crazy, really. Um, but yeah, C, very cool letter. Sort of works in everything, really. Not not so much a funny letter, but, you know, it does have a little bit of edge, a little bit of funny, but a very strong letter. I'd say probably one of the strongest uh, consonants, actually. Um, and there is a reason why it is so early in the alphabet, you know. It is your ABCs, you know. Um, let's see, you know, you've got names like Chad, Chris, really good names, really strong names. C, it's just all around, you know, a good guy. And you you want to have him around, so... But, um, yeah, he's, he's in the number seven spot, which means that there are a bunch of letters better than him, which brings me onto the next letter, U. Um, <clears throat> U, it's, it's the first vowel we've seen, and um, I think that speaks, you know, volumes in itself. The vowels generally do get placed a lot higher. So this is sort of, this is actually quite low for the vowels, but um, in terms of all letters, including all the consonants, uh, the vowels do generally rank higher, so U is quite up here. You, you know, it is a funny letter. It's it's a joining word. It's got, you know, a bunch of different pronunciations. It's, you know, universal, unique. Um, couldn't really live without it, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Um, it, it is like a W, only it's a, it's a vowel, really. And it's a bit more simple, which I think people really sort of tend to like a bit more, um, at least in my opinion. But yeah, you, you know, it's a good letter in the number six spot. Coming in at number five, we have, ooh, it's O. Oh, my God. I know some of you guys are saying, oh, 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 oh. Some of you guys do not like this letter. I've heard a lot of complaints about putting it at number five. Many people have told me to take it out of the top ten, or at least put it down. But I'm a firm believer in the O. 
Like, it's a funny letter. It's a stable letter. It joins. Um, you know, it's it's not an edgy letter. It's, like, the complete opposite of edgy. It's a bit fat, you know, a bit round around the edges, if you get what I'm saying. But, um, again, it is a vowel, so it's going to score highly just because it's a vowel. And, you know, you see it quite often. But, you know, you stack two O's, you've got a oo. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why people want to put this further down the list, in all honesty. And I'll ask them, and they can't give me a good reason. I think, honestly, they're just jealous of O. So, I'm, I'm keeping it at this number five spot, despite what people have said. Because um, I think it's I think it's a good letter. You know, it's got the, it's got the comedic value, you know? It's very simple to draw, you know, it's one of the first, uh, you know, it's a simple shape, just a circle. It's one of the easiest letters to draw for kids. You know, a lot of them may have trouble with a bit more complex letters like F and G's and stuff like that, but... Oh, you know, the lowercase is the same as the uppercase, man. It's one of the simplest, it's a trustworthy letter. I don't think I really need to say any more than that to defend my opinion of O, but I know there will be quite a lot of hate about it, but um, that's just me. Um, coming in at number four, Z. Again, very edgy letter, like X, but this is a bit more, a bit more um, less out there, I would say. Still very edgy, but it's a bit more usable than um, X, I'd say, and a bit more, um, a bit more well known, I should say as well. Um, it is uh, the last letter of the alphabet, and of course that does increase its popularity. You know, you got the the first few quite popular, and then the last few quite popular, the ones in the middle not so popular. Z, you know, a good edgy letter. Um, and it, it is, you know, it's a close cousin of the letter S, which is, you know, also a good letter. I don't think S is on, yeah, S isn't on this top 10, but, um, said, you know, it, it is a, it is a good letter. It is a good letter. Nice edgy letter. Um, some people like to, I personally like to do it with the, uh, what's it called? The line through the, uh, the middle like that. Just because, um, otherwise it can get confused. But, um, that, that's just me. That's just my taste. Maybe that's because, the, maybe that's why I've ranked it so highly. Because I tend to see Z with the, um, line through it. Which I just, I just think it sort of increases sort of its coolness, edgy factor. If you know what I'm saying. Um, but enough about Z. Let's get on to number three, which is E. Now, E. It's, again, it's a vowel, man, so it just works almost everywhere, man. Like, oh, everyone just loves E, you know? You know, name, name the biggest mountain, Everest. Like, you can't live without E, man. E is, e is the most popular character, I'm pretty sure. It's the most popular vowel, and it's the most popular, well, character, because, you know, vowels, of course, it was kind of redundant, but... E, it's there all the time and for everyone, man. Like, what are you going to say bad about E? I'll tell you what you can say bad about E. Well, there's a reason it's number three and not number one. A lot of people want it at number one, but I'm telling you why it's at E. It's just overused, man. Like, it's, it is the most popular letter, but that doesn't... Popularity doesn't just mean it's good. Like, yeah, there is a reason it is that popular, but... it's just It just feels like it's trying too hard to be number one, really, in my eyes, at least. Like, it's just going out of its way to be the most used letter. Like, you look at double E's, man. You don't have that for, like, a lot of, well, some other letters, man. Like, where would you have a double U? You wouldn't. You might have a double O, yeah, that's fine, but O's not the most popular letter, man. E is just going out of its way, man. But, like, I I'm I'm shitting on E when I really shouldn't be. It's a good letter, I know. It, it is number three. It is in the top three letters of the alphabet. Um, E, yeah. But, like, its downfall, I think, personally, is just that it's, it's almost too popular. It's, like, too good for its own good, really. Anyway, I've talked enough about E. It's a good letter. I have a lot of respect for E. I'm sorry to anyone that thought E should be a number one spot, but in my eyes, it's the number three. Um, not too many, even though a lot of people, sorry, I'll just go on a quick rant here, even though a lot of people think that E should be number one, um, there's also a lot of people that think it should be number three, but I haven't seen anyone put E in the number two spot, which I find very surprising, like, because you would have thought, you know, if they're putting it in number one, putting it in number three, maybe number two would be a nice middle ground, but no, no one's having that. Um, speaking of number two, however, it's B, it's B, 
Where would we be without B? I mean, it's beautiful, it's busty. I'll be the first to say that. Um, it's a funny letter. I mean, didn't they have, um... Wasn't there an entire meme where they just replaced letters with B? Like, if you, instead of saying penis, you said penis. That's, that's comedy, right there. It's a funny letter. You can, um, you can rely on it. Um... Sorry, I'm just having a bit of, um, sip of water here, but, um... Yeah, B, it's a good letter, man. No one can hate B, man. Like, honestly, who hates B? Like, be honest with me. B is one of the best letters. At least in my opinion, but I haven't found anyone that sort of disagrees with that. It is it is certainly one of the best. I haven't seen anyone not put B in a top 10. And I've met some fucking freaks in my time, alright? Let me tell you that much. Man. But B, you know, it, it's a funny letter, man. It's a funny letter. He's all around the place, you know. And he's curvy. You know? Hold on, let me just have another drop of water before we get into this number one spot, but um, I'm pretty sure by now a lot of you guys will be, like, you should know what's coming next, right? What letter haven't we seen? Like, you know, we haven't seen Y. You really think Y is going to be in the number one spot? My god. I mean, let's just say E wasn't, E was not number one. So what's it going to be? It's going to be A. Of course, it's going to be the vowel, the letter, the beginning of the alphabet. He's the alpha male. B, he's a bit of a beta, but A, he's alpha man. Like, what's the first letter they teach you of the alphabet, man? What's the first, what is the first letter of the alphabet? A. What's the alphabet known as? Your A, B, C's. What's your primary variable in mathematics? Your A variable. Or in science as well. It's the A, man. He's awesome. He's awe-inspiring, man. And there's just infinite uses to him, man. He's all over the place. He, he almost gets treated as like a constant half the time. And he doesn't have as much usage as E, but where, where he is used, it feels real. Like E, some of the use cases, it's like, man... Like, why are you in there? E, why are you in there? But A, man, every time he's in it, he just makes the words stronger. Think of, like, strong names, like Chad. You got your C, and then you got your A's, man. And then you D's as well. A, it's like, it's the strongest letter. It's the best letter. It's the first in the alphabet for a reason, man. Every, tell me one guy that doesn't know his A's. Tell me one guy that can't write A's. And he, oh... Don't even get me started on the different ways you can write A's. You know that special one that, um, is it like that? Yeah, look at that. Look at how that's written. Like, oh my god. And then you can, but you've also got like the more casual way of, um, doing it sort of, you know, like with the, like with an O and then like a line next to it. That's how most people do it, but, um, yeah, A, man. It's just, it's number one. And I, I don't think that's going to be controversial at all, but, um, Honestly, I can't I can't give enough praise to A. Um, for what it's done, it's it's been there for um, oh, as long as I can remember, really, and it's really, you know, I don't know what I do without A. You know, I'm I'm just in shock, really. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the top ten letters of the alphabet. If you um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just going to win the video there, bye.